Well, our sprinter has a leak in the windshield seal, uh, and I think had a leak at the antenna as well. And so the headliner is pretty stained, so I'm messing around with this uh, carpet cleaner, seeing if it's possible to uh, clean out these stains and avoid having to like do something funky with this headliner. been almost exactly 20 minutes since I filmed the first video, the start of this, and here's what it looks like. Uh, with it wet, it looks pretty dang good. I'm um, going to wait and see what it looks like when it dries because there's still maybe some staining spots on there, but I might give it another scrub after that. Um, I'm pretty stoked with how much of that came out. I don't know if everybody else is as tempted as I am, but you gotta look at the nastiness we pulled out of that headliner. It's some dark water. It's dried out pretty quick, and um, it looks really good. I was kind of expecting like a lot more visibility of those stains, but I can't really see them at all. Uh, the only spots where you can see is like right up here where it meets with the windshield, and I could always go back and work on that a little bit more. All right, so my next step is gonna to be to remove this windshield and then work on repairing this rust around here. You can see we've got quite a bit there and it was leaking at the top, leaking at the bottom. It's kind of leaking all over, so I'm gonna pull this out. I've kind of pried this. Oh yeah, you can see, you can see down there. Pried this seal out of here. You can actually see this windshield move. Alright, well it was really easy to get this wire through here because the windshield's barely connected. Uh, I did see someone say it's good to take out this seal, so I just used a screwdriver to pop it up and now I'm just pulling it off to keep from damaging this seal. It comes out pretty easily. I got this kit from Harbor Freight and I think it's gonna work pretty well. Um, you basically just use this little thing, you kind of wrap the cable around there and shove it, th shove it through. And you use this guy and all you do, <laughs> you do this one-handed, very important to do it one-handed. You run this through here, I guess it goes through there. So it goes through the end up here, and then you just put it through that hole. There we go, so it goes through there, up through here, through that hole, and then back, and then when you put pressure on it, this clamps down on it, and this thing. Comes out. It's not hooked to anything. Shocking. Here's why we had to pull the windshield. It was not sealed at all down here. And up here, it's the same thing. You can see all along there, it was just leaking right in there. So, I'm gonna have to scrape, I don't even know how you do it, but I'm gonna clean all this crap off here. Grind down all this rust. Get it ground down to bare metal. I'm gonna apply some epoxy primer. Well, I guess first I'll put some rust inhibitor, then epoxy primer, then um, some oil-based paint probably. I'll put some real good paint in there and make sure it 
doesn't happen again. All right, gonna work on the windshield today. First step is gonna be to get all this covered because I'm gonna be doing some grinding. So I've got this blanket that actually came in the van. I'm gonna use it as a drop cloth here. All right, so I've got a blanket clamped on here, which I think will protect everything pretty well from any flying debris. Uh, I think I'm gonna need to take this hood off, unfortunately, because um, this rust goes down a ways and I don't really wanna be fighting with it. So I think I'm gonna see how easy it is to take that hood off. Okay, looks like the best way is gonna be to remove these two bolts right here uh, on each side and then pull this pin right here. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, I got that pulled off. That was not that easy to do single, uh, single handed, but I did get it off. Okay, the seal will take off for now. Move those clips from there. Okay, so the next step is gonna to be to get all this urethane sealant off here. I've got a fresh blade on my razor knife, so I'm gonna see if this will get it off there. That razor blade made quick work of this urethane. And uh, yeah, it also you can see the extent of this rust along the bottom and the top up there. And even it looks like perhaps along the side here a little bit. Um, so the next step is I'm gonna go over this urethane with um, some heat, I think a torch and a wire brush, and uh, see if I can remove that pretty gently without removing all the paint. everything a couple times with the wire wheel got some holes showing up here all across this that probably should be welded I suppose I'm not sure what the best bet is with these to prevent rust from coming back unfortunately probably grinding them a little wider and then painting them I'd think and then for all this um, I think I'm gonna take my grinder and see if I can grind it flat, because I don't really trust all the rust to be out of there. Um, with all those divots in there. So I think I'm gonna do that on the top and the bottom. Get that flat. I'm gonna open these up a little bit and I'll probably just uh, maybe cut this a little bit and weld a small patch in uh, each of these little holes. It's probably my best bet. my way around here uh, but you can see I didn't even begin to get that rust with the wire brush um, going down back with the grinding disc is really getting a lot more um, and I didn't realize how deep some of this is either you can see all those holes there you can see all those little spots there um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to get any deeper. I think the POR15 should work just fine. 
um, even with this. I think I'll go back over it with the wire wheel again uh, to kind of wiggle out whatever I can in there. Um, but I think it'll probably be fine. I realize I can access under here from behind. Uh, just barely I can get to most of these holes. So I feel better about um, just welding these up. I think that'll be okay. And then I'll spray behind there. Um, and hopefully kind of slow down that rust behind there. Uh, but yeah, I'm working my way through here and then I'm gonna go back over it with a wire wheel again. Probably end up coating this tomorrow because there's supposed to be some sun. All right, so I've got that ground all the way around there. I'm gonna go ahead and just weld up all these little holes here. And then probably call it a day. Alright, I got uh, all these spots welded up here. And um, I'm gonna just see what I can do to coat those from the back. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go grind them down now. Alright, well, I made the best use of this not rainy weather. Got all those welded up and ground down. And um, I'm gonna cover this up for tonight. And then work on this again tomorrow. Well, I'm, um, I'm honestly, I'm a bit disappointed. Um, I was really hoping that I could get that uh, windshield frame coated in the next couple days and we're leaving for two weeks on Monday. But unfortunately, I can't stop myself from researching the right way to do things. I, I bought this product, some POR15, but then I started reading some reviews of it and I had read some that were not super favorable. but. I started reading some more that were saying that uh, it does not adhere very well to clean metal and I have just ground down uh, all the rust off of uh, that windshield frame. And then not only that, but mixed reviews as far as um, that it doesn't actually stop rust. That lots of people saying that it, it came back very quickly even after following the directions. And read one post that said it's important to have some sort of aluminum flakes. Uh, in the paint coating because that prevents oxygen from getting to the rust and therefore stops the rust. He was pretty convincing uh, and I remembered that I have used the same brand POR15 in uh, some motorcycle fuel tanks but it was always a silver formulation and this is a black formulation and I think the silver formulation had that uh, aluminum coating uh, in it to prevent oxygen from getting to the rust. So um, I ended up ordering a different product uh, that has that aluminum formulation in it that's silver. So the good news is I think I you know am probably going to end up with a better something that I'm more happy with and that will hopefully be more permanent than this POR15 that I had ordered. The bad news is it's not going to be here for probably like 10 days so I'm not going to get to it by the weekend. I'm going to have to leave uh, the uncoated metal sitting for two weeks um, covered, but still going to be sitting out and getting condensation on it and rusting. 